एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल द हाउस स्टेशन आई एम तनवी आई एम राधिका एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो इज गॉट समथिंग रियली अमेजिंग फॉर यू गाइज सो राधिका डू यू वॉन्ट टू टेल अवर्स वॉट वी हैव इन स्टॉल फॉर दैम श्योर सो दिस वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग अ डी आई डी आई वाई दिवाल येस एंड एज यू कैन सी अराउंड दस वी हैव दिस अमेजिंग डेकोरेशन एंड वी डी आई वाई ऑल ऑफ इट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू गाइज हाउ वी डी आई वाई ऑल दिस स्टफ सो लेट्स गेट इन टू दीडियो लेट्स शो दैम द आइटम्स वन बाय वन So to make the garland, I have got grey paper of different colours that I have cut into strips of two inches each, and I've got a needle and a thread. The thread is a four-layered, and it's a little longer than the frame of the door, so that it becomes easier for us to hang the garland on the door. So first, I'm going to take an orange strip, and I'm going to pass the needle and the thread through the strip. I'm going to keep a distance of about one centimeter in between. This is approximate. I'm just eyeballing the distance over here. You don't need to be exact with this. And I'm also going to try to keep the needle in the center of the paper. Again, I'm just eyeballing the center over here. You don't need to be precise over here, but try to be as exact as you can. And then I'm going to pull the paper down to the thread, making some space for the needle. And I'm going to continue to do so till I have covered the whole strip of the orange paper. And then I'm going to pull the whole strip all the way down on the thread and just roll it a bit so that it gets a nice shape. Another method which you can use is that fan fold the strip of crepe paper at 1 cm, gather it all together and then pass the needle through the center of the paper. Passing the needle over here can be a bit difficult because of the thickness of the paper but it's up to you whichever method you find easier you can do that i found the first method much easier and much cleaner so i'm going to continue doing that and i'm going to cover the whole thread with the strips of the orange crepe paper and once the thread is covered completely this is what it is going to look like so this is the basic garland you can keep it like this but i'm going to add a little more color to it I've got strips of red, white and green which measure 60 cm each. So I've got two strips of white, one of red and one of green. I'm going to start with white again the same method which we used for the orange. I'm going to pass the needle through the white strip at a distance of 1 cm each and then I am going to pull the strip all the way down. After white, I'm going to go in with red, white again and then green. Once the green is done, I am going to go in with a yellow. Now the strips of white, red and green measure the same but the strip of yellow is going to keep on reducing by 30 centimeters as we go further so that it creates a V. So the first strip of yellow that I have measures 120 centimeters. The, the second and the third strips which are going to go on either sides that's one on the left one on the right measure 90 centimeter the third and the fourth strip measure 60 centimeters and the last two strips which are going to go on the either ends of the first strip measure 30 centimeters so that is how I am going to do it here on camera I am showing you just one or just the center strip because obviously it is time consuming and to save time I cannot show you the whole thing but you get the hang of it right so once I am done pulling the yellow strip down on the thread I am going to find the center of the garland and then I am going to connect this piece on the center by literally stitching or tying the threads together. 
once this is done i'm going to do the remaining strips on either sides of this one that i have done in the center creating a v i'm going to do that off camera and once that is done this is what the garland is going to look like nice and ready to hang up on the door so guys while i was busy making the garlands radhika painted these beautiful diyas so radhika do you want to go ahead and uh, show them how we painted these uh yes of course so uh, we will go into the video and check at exactly how i did it it was really simple and you guys can do this at home without any hustle but so you can actually give this task to your kids yes <laughs> yes it'll be fun for them as well yes and yeah. i'm consuming so you can prepare all your sweets <laughs> <laughs> yeah so let's see how we made yes. these beautiful diyas so to decorate the diyas you obviously need the diyas you need a paint brush paints of your choice and a newspaper so that you don't mess up the things around you now you can choose any color which you want we decided to keep them white because it's a nice and a classy color so what radhika is doing over here is that she is giving a coat of white color on the diyas and then keeping them aside for the color to dry one coat of paint is obviously not enough so after the first coat dry she is going to go in with a second coat so that the color turns opaque and the original color of the diyas doesn't peek through now she's going to leave this to dry as a well and after the second coat dries it is a time for some decoration so since red and white is a classic combination and obviously looks amazing we decided to add red kundans on this beautiful white diya so what radhika is doing over here is on the border of the diya she is placing dots of kavikal and with the help of those dots she is going to stick the red kundans on the border of the diya and then to add a pop of color and glitter we are going in with some gold so here on top she is going to add little dots of the gold color on the diya and once the gold paint dries your classic diyas are ready to light up your house for the festive season so after we were done painting the diyas we obviously had to make like the most important thing for diwali that is the akash kandal yes so this is how we made it it's pretty simple yet it looks really elegant and classy so i think we should go ahead yes. and show them how we made this beautiful akash kandal yeah so let's see how we made this so for the kandal or the lantern we have an a4 size paper this basically measures 21 cm by 27 cm and on this what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark points at a distance of 1.5 cm from each border and then i am going to fold the border inwards so these borders are later on going to help us in sticking the four sides with each other and also the top and the base After I'm done folding the borders, I'm going to flip the paper over, and on this portion, I am going to stick these orange squares, which measure 6.5 by 6.5 centimeters. And uh, yeah, we are using a combination of lemon green and orange over here. You can use a combination that you like, obviously. After I'm done sticking the six squares on the paper, I'm going to take a golden tape and I'm going to make borders for these squares. The golden is going to add a little bit of bling and it is going to obviously make the lantern look nice and festive. So the lantern is obviously going to be of a box shape for which we will be needing four sides. So as you can see, I've already prepared the other three sides. I'm going to stick all these pieces with one another using those folds which I had first made. So I'm going to apply glue on these folds and then I am going to stick them 
together so i'm going to stick the first and the second paper second and the third one third and the fourth and fourth and the first one so that it forms a box now it's time to make a base and a top for the lantern so i've got a paper over here i am going to fold it into half and stick it together just to give it a nice thickness and then i am going to cut it into a square of 18 centimeters by 18 centimeters because that's the measurement of the box or the lantern that we just made So here is my square i obviously need to cut the center as well because i need to put my hands in to put the bulb or the lighting inside the lantern and if it's not open from the bottom from where am i going to put my hand so i am just leaving a distance of about maybe half an inch and then i am going to cut this center so here is the bottom of my lantern i am going to now take the lantern and I'm going to crease the folds that uh, I had made earlier at the bottom and then I'm going to add some glue on those folds and then stick the base on the lantern. And now I'm going to leave this to dry and while this dries I am going to make the top for my lantern same way like i did the base except i'm going to keep it 18 centimeters by 20 centimeters next i'm going to take the center of this top and i'm going to make a hole in it i'm not going to make a big hole it's because we have decided to keep the lantern indoor on a stand and we are going to add fairy lights to it so you just need to make the hole as big as to pass the wire of the fairy lights if you are going to add a bulb to it you obviously need to make a hole that can hold a bulb holder for your bulb so obviously you're going to measure it first and then cut the hole after i'm done making a hole in the center i am going to decorate the sides as i said this top measures 18 centimeters by 20 centimeters so for the 20 centimeter size i'm going to leave one one centimeter from each side and i am going to add these golden beads on it for some decoration And then I'm going to stick the top on the lantern just like I stuck the base and then pass the fairy lights through it and there we have our lantern ready. So for the mini lantern, I have a piece of paper which measures 13.5 cm by 10 cm. I am going to fold it into exact half and crease the fold. Now from the border of the open side, I am going to measure a distance of 1 cm and draw a very thin line for markings and then on that line, I am going to mark points at a distance of 1 cm. I am going to do the same thing on the bottom as well. And then using these points, I am going to cut 
slits into the paper from the bottom to the line that I had drawn earlier, something like this. Once I'm done cutting all the slits, I am going to unfold the fold that I had made earlier. Then I'm going to apply glue on one border and stick it with the other border forming a cylindrical like shape. And then I'm just going to press it like this so that it gets that mini lantern shape. Next I have a strip of paper over here. I'm going to add a little bit of glue on the edges of uh, the strip and then I am going to stick that inside the lantern now to decorate it i have some silver kundans i am going to add drops of glue on the border and stick the kundans one by one at the top and the bottom and once the glue dries the mini lantern is ready so guys we made the garland we made the lantern the small lanterns and we have a bonus uh, diy for you guys and i think that this diy is the easiest of them yes. all you just require a few uh, items and you don't actually have to make anything but still it is a diy so we're going to show you and that diy is this center table decor right over here so radhika do you want to tell them how we did this uh, so we have used a vessel so you can use any kind of vessel that is uh, that is as per your uh, convenience and we've poured some water in it and we have added flowers so the flower layer you'll have to see uh, you have to make a thick layer so that the candles don't sink in and then we've lighted some tea candles and this makes a amazing centerpiece and if you have guest and you have a bigger dining table this makes a very good uh, dining piece in the center of your table and it gives it a real diwali vibe and plus it's very easy to make so yes. you can definitely make this and not just this all the diys you can make them all and now you guys saw how we made these amazing diys but radhika we've just placed it on our sofa i think we should show them how you can use these diys to decorate our house right yes. so for that they will have to head on to my channel yes so we are making a video on my channel which uh, we will decorate the house using all this diys so you guys can just check the video yes so on my channel we have made the diys and on her channel we are going to decorate the house using the diys so if you want to watch that channel i don't think if you want to watch you should definitely watch that channel to see how we use these diys in decorating our house so i'm going to link the the video as well as radhika's channel both down in the description box as well as in the little i over here in the corner so don't forget to see her video as well to see how to put these diys to use and i think yeah that's it for today's video and now we'll see you next week with another amazing video yeah that's a surprise. so that's a surprise for you guys 